Hey everyone, it's Marianne, and this week we are talking about when our partners change pronouns. Uh, when Aiden first came out as transgender, uh, he was going by a, a shortened version of his birth name. And I don't know if I can share his old name just because he's in class and I can't ask him. So for argument's sake, let's just say his name was Bobaretta. So he went by the shortened name of Bob. Um, when his name was Bob, I would occasionally slip on the pronouns just because before he came out, um, I would already some already sometimes call him Bob. So in my head, it was almost like that name was already associated with him being a girl. So, you know, if I did slip, I would catch myself and apologize. Um, it's when Aiden actually chose the name Aiden that it was like a light switch, pretty much. It was just kind of like, all right, like name change, change pronoun, like we're good now. And I don't think I slipped after that. Um, if I did, it was still in the very beginning when he first came out. Um, we were friends when he came out, so changing pronouns wasn't difficult for me. Um, yeah, it was really not hard for me at all. Um, if I'm with my friends and you know we're talking about Aiden or whatever and they use the wrong pronoun, I will correct them sometimes. No, no, I will correct them all the time. And then sometimes when we're in public and people use the wrong pronoun, um, I will also correct them. Not in a rude way, but if they say something like, oh, does she want a cat or whatever, I'll just be like, oh, no, he like wants a dog or elephant or whatever. Um, Aid and I are a lot like Shane and Gavin in the sense that we do like to educate people. Aiden is open about pe about being transgender, and he pretty much just wants to educate people as much as he can. Um, when we go on trips and like we go through airport security and all that kind of stuff, if he needs to get secondary screened, you know we can see the guards talking and trying to figure out if he's a boy or a girl. Uh, when we actually went to Hawaii, the female guard finally came over, but she didn't really know what to say. She was just kind of like, "Um, are you, um." Like, she didn't know what to say or what to do. And Aiden was like, I'm a transgender male, and I would prefer if the male guard patted me down. And they were like, oh, okay, like, sorry. And he's like, no, it's okay. Like, I just prefer that the male guard pat me down. So, you know, Aiden being comfortable with, with himself, he would rather have that happen to him than say someone, someone else who isn't as comfortable. That way, like, Aiden can educate them. And so, you know, next time, whoever can kind of have more of an open mind and kind of know what's going on kind of thing. And like even myself now at work, like when I'm checking people in for their flight, I won't use pronouns. And like for a small tiny airport, like I've checked in a few transgender people. And I remember this one, uh, he was going quite far, you know, multiple flights. And as I was checking him in, I was like, oh, like, do you have a preferred pronoun that, that you like or that you'd like to use? And he just kind of looked at me and was like, oh my God, like the look on his face was like, oh my god, thank you for asking me, like, no one's ever asked that before. And, like, he was just so happy that I actually asked him. And, you know, I made a little comment in his file, like, please use this pronoun and, like, put it on for all the flights. So they, like, yeah, just did that for him. And, you know, I could tell he was really happy that I did that for him. So, and, like, even at my second job, um, I've got my coworkers to stop using gender when greeting customers. So instead of saying, like, oh, ladies, like, welcome to this workplace. I'm not going to tell you where I work. Um, they'll just be like, oh, hey, you know, welcome to the store kind of thing. And, yeah. So I kind of feel like going off topic there. Anyways, um, I think that's all I have to say. I hope everyone had a good Halloween. Aiden and I went trick-or-treating last night. That's right. I'm 25, and I still go trick-or-treating. It's free chocolate. How could you say no to free chocolate? Um, we got, we got a lot of chocolate, a lot of candy, diabetic coma waiting to happen over here. Oh yeah, if you don't know, I'm a type 1 diabetic. <laughs> Halloween's like the worst holiday for me and I still go trick-or-treating. Anyways, that's all. I've rambled. Pronouns weren't hard to change for me. I don't slip up anymore. No. Sometimes I occasionally do if I'm talking about his past when, um, when I'm talking about his old self. When he was still a girl and like i knew him as a girl but it's not me meaning it's just in my brain at the time that's what he was and like it doesn't bother him because it's his old self like that's what happened 
Uh, but yeah, that's it. I've rambled. Okay. Bye. Thank you for watching. I will see you all next week. Mm-hmm. <laughs>